When I grow up, I want to be just like Vice President Kamala Harris. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> We're going to make T-shirts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, cackling Kamala. <laughs> so here's the thing about breaking barriers. Breaking barriers does not mean you start on one side of the barrier and you end up on the other side. There's breaking involved. And when you break things, you get cut. And you may bleed. And it is worth it every time. Every time. And so too, especially the young people here, I say to you, when you walk in those rooms, being the only one that looks like you, the only one with your background, you walk in those rooms, chin up, shoulders back, be it a meeting room, a boardroom, a courtroom, a hearing room. You walk in those rooms knowing that we are all in that room with you, applauding you on and expecting certain things from you, including that you will not be silent in those rooms. And that we expect that from you because we also expect that you will internalize and know we're there with you. And so your voice can be strong. It is as Alicia said, my mother would say to me, don't you ever let anybody tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. Don't ever carry as a personal burden your capacity to do whatever you dream and aspire to do based on other people's limited ability to see who can do what. This is part of what's involved, is that we have to know that sometimes people will open the door for you and leave it open, sometimes they won't. And then you need to kick that door down. <laughs> Excuse my language. We're going to make t-shirts with that saying, kick the door down <laughs> seen that heard that good yo 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 as long as i live i will never understand how that woman became the president the vice president of the united states of america i will never understand it because kamala harris has no talent from what you just saw there, I mean, she's really saying nothing. When you break the ceiling, you are going to get cut. And you're going to get cut every time. And it's going to be a good cut. Make sure you have something to clean the cut with. Because getting cut is just terrible. But if you stand in the race, you're going to get cut. like. What are you talking about? Like, this, these are the kinds of things that you have to present to Asian students, like foreign students. I know they're American, but a lot of them are probably here on visas to, to study here in America. So they might be foreign students. And this is, this is, this is what they have. This, this woman who's giving you nothing really. And then dropping F-bombs, you know, you got to kick the door down you've got to kick the fucking door down kick the fucking door down this is what she got this is who you have to look up to i mean we are living in the world of cuckoo for cocoa puffs for real when somebody like this this is what i believe is called a the uh useful idiot actually she's not even useful at all She's useful in the sense that she can come out here and, and, and swing propaganda, but the woman has no talent. I mean, how the hell did she get there? Oh, I get it. Oh, I remember. Uh, they said that they were going to pick a black woman 
Uh, you had to be, you had to be a woman, had to have a vagina, allegedly. And then uh, you had to be of immigrant descent. You know, she's, she's part Indian. So these are the infinity stones of wokeness that she has in order for her to have this, the affirmative action, Madame Vice President. This is what Kamala Harris is. This is where she walks into the room, honey. When you walk into the room, the people are saying, here she go. Oh, here she comes. That's what they're saying. Oh, here she comes. L let, let us move away because this woman has nothing of stature, nothing of good, nothing meaningful, nothing important to communicate to you, the people.